that, we welcome you inside the KFC Yum Center in downtown Louisville, Kentucky for some college basketball on this weeknight here from Louisville. It's the Miami Red Hawks in town to take on the Cardinals from the University of Louisville. Well, the last time we talked, Miami was coming off a 79-67 win against the Missouri Valley State University Delta Devils on Sunday. It snapped the Red Hawks' four-game losing streak. They come in having lost four of their past five. Louisville, meanwhile, coming off a 99-67 win against Eastern Kentucky in this building on Saturday. For the Cardinals, they're ranked number three in the nation coming into this one tonight. And they were number one in last week's AP poll, but with a loss against Texas Tech last Tuesday night, they dropped a three this week. It was a 70-57 loss to the Texas Tech Raiders last week. With the win Saturday against Eastern Kentucky, though, the Louisville is coming off of. They've won 11 of their past 12, and that has happened for seven of the past nine years here in Louisville. For Miami, a rougher stretch of games here. The competition getting a little bit tougher after the game last uh, Sunday against MBSU. Miami, of course, losing four of their past five, looking to make noise before a stretch of two straight home games as we look toward 2020. So the teams here are on the court getting ready to go for this match up here tonight in Louisville, Kentucky on a Wednesday night. And we will join the public address here at the KFC Up Center for the starting lineups and national anthem, which will happen momentarily. This is Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio. to the bill. Tonight's NCAA men's basketball game here on Denny Crumcourt in the world's most spectacular arena, the KFC Yum Center, features the Miami Red Hawks and your University of Louisville Cardinals. At this time, PSD, please rise. Kindly remove your hands for the presentation of our colors by the Valley High School Navy Junior ROTC. Please join our players and coaches in honoring America and celebrating its freedom and those who protect it. Now welcome Isaac Pendley as he performs our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by thine arms early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket red glare the bombs That's your national anthem from Louisville tonight. The lower bowl pretty much full here at the KFC Up Center. The upper deck, however, about half full, not a, quite a full salad for this game on a Wednesday night. Starting lineups are happening now. We'll rejoin the public address here in Louisville. Now let's meet our starting lineups. First, our visitors from Oxford, Ohio. Starting at guard, a 6'4 junior from Indianapolis, number one, Nike Savandi. Joining him at guard, a 16 freshman from Lorain, Ohio, number three, Dayday Grant. 
The third guard is a 6'1 freshman from Terre Haute, Indiana, number 11, Maisha White. And one forward is 6'7 junior from Toledo, Ohio, number 13, Delonte Brown. And rounding out the front court, a 6'8 senior from Bowling Green, Kentucky, number 14, Ben Bowman. And head coach of the Red Hawks is Jack Owens. Tradition and pride run deep. We're tough, together, unbreakable represents the whole damn city. In our house. In our city. KFC Young Center pretty fired up for this one tonight here in downtown Louisville, Kentucky. The Miami Red Hawks taking on the Louisville Cardinals. And in case you missed it, your starting lineups for tonight's game. First for the visiting Red Hawks, number one, Nike Savani will be in the lineup tonight after only playing one minute in the MVSU game due to an ankle injury. They said he was officially day today, but he is in tonight and will start for Miami. Number three, Day Day Grant starting as well for the Red Hawks. So is number 11, Maja White. Number 13, Delonte Brown. And number 14, Bam Bowman, to round out the starting five for the Red Hawks. For Louisville, it's number two, Darius Perry. Number 23, Stephen Nock. Enoch. Number 24, Dwayne Sutton. Number 30, Ryan McMahon. And number 33, Jordan Wara. As this crowd here getting ready for some Wednesday night basketball in Louisville. Like I mentioned earlier, pretty full lower bowl here tonight at the KFC Yum Center. This building seats about 22,000 people. The upper deck, however, not too full, about halfway full on both sides of the floor. Rocks are going to move right to left across the radio in this first half. They're wearing their away red jerseys with white numbers and white trim. Louisville in their home whites with red numbers and black trim. They're moving left to right. And some of the fans standing here awaiting the first Louisville buck to the game. The Cardinals went back the opening tip and controlling it is Darius Perry, number two in white. He's quarterback in the offense here early on. Drills to the far side of the floor. Day Day Grant is his matchup tonight. Top of the key, it was number 24, Dwayne Sutton. Little give and go pass. And they're back to the top of the key. Jordan Wara has the ball. Near side, controlled by Ryan McMahon. Cross court pass, back up top, wide open three. Darius Perry, yes sir. <laughs> And 25 seconds in, Louisville, the 3-0 lead over Miami. Run out to the first offensive possession of the game. 
They will control it top of the key. Delonte Brown, little shovel pass near side. It's Dana Grant on the left wing for the Red Hawks. Savani tries it top of the key. Three, he does that. And Nike Savani was right on the line. He was able to make it. They say it is a three, and we're not at a three. 50 seconds in here to this first half. We'll go back the other way. It's number two, Darius Perry controlling the ball against Grant. Charge down the right wing. Pulls up at the paint line there at the right elbow. They get it back to the far wing. Control here by Jordan Warren. Top of the key and back to the near side. Darius Perry, right wing, looks for a shovel pass. Near corner three. That one is an air ball. It missed too far left from Dwayne Sutton. Back the other way, the Red Hawks come over the timeline right wing. Sabani pulls up at the arc. Van Bowman wide open three in the far corner. But he was out of bounds. Step back too far there on the far side. And the Red Hawks will turn it over with 18.45 to go in the first. A quick inbound here for the number three, the nation, Louisville Cardinals, Darius Perry. We'll take it across top by middle of the floor. Charge back to the right wing, pulls up at the arc, pass top the key, went off the legs, and it's going to go out of bounds off of Jordan War at the near sideline. And poor ball handling there for Louisville on that possession. We'll turn it back to the Red Hawks with 18.31 to go here in the first. Delonte Brown, the inbound pass for Dane Dane Grant, who takes it across top by middle of the floor. Grant pass to the Near wing, it is Delonte Brown to control it for a second, although getting in there on defense, Jordan Warren able to knock it away. And it came out the near sideline, Louisville here in inbound. And it'll be Dwayne Sutton to pass it in for Darius Perry. Perry over the timeline, middle of the floor. His matchup again, Danny Grant today. Back to the near corner, Perry waits for the three. Is now looking for options, thinking about shooting it. Back up toward the arc. Free throw line, the pass back, get it to the far side. It is McMahon waiting and back to the right wing for Perry. There is Perry, pass inside. They get it back to the arc on the right wing and a charge through three. Red Hawks coming in. One of the left hand to left, Wayne Sutton. One across the court. Red Hawks quick transition. Maja White pull up jumper near side is good and we're tied at five. Miami answering both Louisville buckets on the next offensive possession so far tonight. 17 37 to go in the first half. Middle of the floor, Perry tripped up, almost going to the left wing on Grant. Perry back under the hoop, he found a charge. Put it up with the right hand, but it was no good. Went over the hoop, Delonte Brown, the quick rebound for Miami. He's back up the floor on the left wing. D.D. Grant cuts across to the right wing. Pass for Brown, charge down the middle of the lane. Left-handed layup went off the side of the backboard. Good defense there by Dwight Sutton and knocked that to tipped away. Back to left wing, Louisville with the ball. Trying to make the charge in Jordan Wara. He was tripped up by Maja White. We get our first foul of the game. My Jay White will be whistled for his first. And with 17-13 to go here in the first half. Louisville will inbound this one for the far sideline. It's going to be Jordan Wara, who hits Darius Perry right at half court. Perry pass to the right wing. It's Ryan McMahon. Back top of the key, and then they get it to the far side. Wara pull up on My Jay White for the three in and out. Ronox tip around the rebound and grab it over the line left wing. Here's Sabani, the charge down the right side, finds a lane, and it was poked out of bounds there off of Louisville. Dwayne Sutton came up for the block, got it with the left hand, charging in on the 6'4", 183 junior from Indianapolis, Nike Sabandi. Red Hawks here will get the inbound on the offensive end of the floor, far side of the baseline. Sabandi will be the one to throw it in for Miami. Finds a Dede Grant on the left wing, trying to get outside of the arc. Bowman in the near corner, had room for a second, then they go back up top for Dede Grant. Sabandi to White, near corner three, Brown, it was short, and it picked up off the rebound by Steven Enoch. Little over the timeline right wing, pass to the near side, long three, McMahon, no good, it was tipped around by Brown, who was able to get his own rebound far corner. And back to Dede Grant, who's quarterbacking, thinks now for Miami over the timeline, middle of the floor. Pass to the arc, Bam Boom at top of the key. Big man for Miami, he should be under the hoop right now, trying to get back there. Dane Grant near side, little give and go with Maja White. Back to Nike Savani, top of the key. Lock three, he'll launch, that one is too hard. And Louisville here will catch the rebound and bring it back the other way. Darius Perry over the line, left wing. 5-5 game, 16 minutes to go on the first. Perry drive down the lane right side, he put it up and in with his left arm. Off the glass for two, and the Cardinals back on top, 7-5. Dede Grant will find Nike Savandi near wing. Back for Delonte Brown. Top of the key, Mai J. White. 
Far side, Grant back up to the point. Sabandi near corner, looking for a three. Brown stepped in and back out on top of the key. White, 10 to shoot. Bowman wide open three right wing. That's hard. Rock cannot shoot the three ball so far tonight. They're only one for four from outside the arc. We'll go back the other way. They get it to the right wing. Control here by Jordan Wara. And now on the left wing with room, Darius Perry will just wait here for a play to set up. Cardinals have 15 to shoot. Top of the key, a pass down to the right wing now. In the paint, at the elbow, a little spin around jumper there. Miss from Wara. He was about 10 feet away. Reddick's back the other way. Fast break down the left wing. Brown back from IJ White. Top of the key, Grant thought he had a lane. Will pull up at the free throw line for the shot. And it didn't go through. Fans thought he traveled. And maybe took an extra step on his way in. We'll go back the other way, down the left wing. Pulling up for a pass back, McMahon. Perry, right wing inside. They get it off the glass and in. Steven Enoch put it right on the white square on top of the basket. Louisville 9, Red Hawks 5, 14.40 to go in the first. Nandy Grant for Miami here. Going left and right on the top of the key. Pass to the ear wing, Savani. Inside the arc, Bowman. 15 to shoot. Bowman trying to charge in. And a little right-handed hook shot missed short from the free throw line after he was pushed back. Louisville over the line, left wing. There is Perry far side, cross court pass. They get it back up top. Here's Wara, nice spin around move, and up and in with the left hand. And Jack Owens has had enough. He's called a timeout. As Jordan Wara, unseated Nike Savani there with the shot up and good with a left arm. 14 16 is left here in half number one from Louisville. Cardinals out to an early 11 5 lead. It's Miami basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Patrick Eschen, back with you here for the KFC Young Center in Louisville, Kentucky. The Cardinals on a 6-0 run over the last minute at 43. Cardinals 5 for 10 for the field early on. Miami 2 for 9. Louisville and the Red Hawks both shooting 25% from outside the arc. Red Hawks have turned the ball over twice. Louisville once. And Miami just using their first time out of the game for that last stoppage. 14-10 to go on the first. An 11-5 lead for Louisville. Red Hawks with the ball offensive side of the floor here. 
Top of the key, the first touch for Mackie Larry. Pass to the near side. Long three by Bam Bowman. Missed. And the rebound picked under the hoop by Louisville. Dwayne Sutton in and a pass to the right wing over the line is Lamar Fresh Kimball. Fresh is his nickname. They get it back to the far side. Ryan McMahon, top of the key. Kimball, near wing. It's Dwayne Sutton. Pass inside. And we're going to get an offensive foul here against Louisville. David Johnson had the ball, or excuse me, that was Jordan War rather, who had the ball right in the middle of the lane. He knocked over my J. White down there. And that is the first team foul against Louisville in this half with 13.45 to go in the first. Josh Brewer in the game for the first time for Miami. The inbound pass to Makai Larry. Moves over the middle of the floor here for Miami. Pulls up top of the key, trailing toward the right wing. Larry still with the ball. Far corner, Maj Way returns to Larry right wing. Top of the key, Milos Jovic. Back to the near side, Josh Brewer. Walks it top of the key. Jovic right wing, charge it from the arc. Had a lane, then the angle is blocked. Top of the key, Bowman, seven to shoot. He's got to dish it off. Now Jovic high in the offensive end is fouled, and that's a good break for Miami. Jovic caught some contact up high from Malik Williams, number five in white. And the Red Hawks that time had no idea what they were doing on offense and catching a lucky break as both Bowman and Jovic were playing catch on the same dime nearly at half court with five to shoot. So the Red Hawks here will get 20 on the shot clock and get an inbound here. Top to key. They have it, Jovic. Pass to the far side. That is my Jay White for Miami. And back to the near wing here for Milos Jovic. Top of the key again, Mikhail Larry with the ball. Now down to five to shoot again. Near wing, Jovic has a matchup here, flails off a three, it is short from Jovic. As Dwayne Sutton was defending him, he was all over Jovic. Pass down the near wing, and a foul here is pulling up with the drive, Jordan Wara. Got some contact in the face after getting a shot off that was no good, and Miami will have their second team foul here in the first half. Josh Brewer will be whistled for his first. Two shots for almost 33, Jordan. I'm the 0 for 9 in their last nine field goals and the first time at the free throw line for Louisville. Jordan Wara, an 83.7% shooter on the year, will drive through the first one to give the Cardinals a 12-5 lead. Samuel Williamson is into the game for the first time for Louisville. They're gonna bring out Dwayne Sutton, who started. Sutton, a 6'5", 220 redshirt senior out of Louisville, Kentucky, playing on his hometown team. Second free throw is missed there by the Cardinals and over the line, middle of the floor. Comes to Mikhail Larry with a pass to the near wing for Milos Jovic. Returns to Larry right wing outside the arc. Now finding room for a lock three. Isaiah Coleman lands, missed it short. And falling down trying to get the rebound for Louisville and trying the foul is going to be number zero, Lamar Kimball. McNamara that time for Miami. Elijah McNamara committing that one. And so that 13 foul against Miami, Louisville. Here we'll let bound the ball along the near side. It is Lamar Kimball to take it across the floor over the line left wing. And pulls up outside the arc left wing. Screen play, Louisville, long three, Kimball able to make it. Well, I believe that was Elijah McNamara defending Lamar Kimball, but Louisville setting up a great screen to push McNamara about two feet inside the arc, allowing that three pointer to come through. And Kimball had plenty of room. Rocks to the ball offensive side. McNamara finds a drive down the lane. It's spatted out of the air by David Johnson to the near sideline. What a block. McNamara, number 22, stands at 6'9". You got David Johnson who stands at 6'5", but Johnson's still able to leap up and make the play under the hoop. 14 to shoot for the Red Hawks who inbounded here on offense. And it is my Jay Way to pass out of bounds along the near sideline. McNamara was the intended target, but it was two feet to his right. As my Jay White that time was defended pretty well on the inbound attempt by Louisville's Lamar Kimball. You're going to bring Jordan Wara to inbound this one with 12.03 to go in the first. Cards 15, Red Hawks 5, Louisville a 10 0 run over the last three minutes, 56 seconds. Over the line, left wing, it's Lamar Kimball. Quarterback of the offense right now for the Cardinals. Pass to the far side, catching the ball, but traveling an extra step on the left wing by Jordan Wara. And we'll get immediate timeout here with 11.49 to go in half number one. Cardinals 15, Red Hawks 5. First half action for the KFC Upsetter in Louisville. It's Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
Back at the KFC Up Center in Louisville, Kentucky, Patrick Eschid with you here. Cardinals 15, Red Hawks 5. Miami does not have a point in the last five minutes and 59 seconds. Louisville on a 10-0 run in the last four minutes and 10 seconds. Red Hawks are 0 for 11 in their last 11 field goals. As Miami will get the inbound here of the basketball after the timeout and try to change some of that. Top of the key, Makai Larry. Pass to the far wing, Bam Bowman. Top of the key, Milos Jovic. Back to the left wing now, Isaiah Coleman Lance. Get it back top of the key. Makai Larry, far side three. Bowman tries it short. And it bounces twice out of bounds. Louisville will get it back with 11.32 to go here in the first. Red Hawks are just trying the three point game, but it's not quite working. Louisville seventh in the nation at field goal percentage defense this year. Team that comes in 10 and one overall, they're only two and zero in the ACC. Drive down the right wing, off the glass and in, it came off the hands of David Johnson for Louisville. Six five two ten freshman out of Louisville, Kentucky, makes it a 17 five Cardinal lead. Timeline right wing, Makai Larry, pass to the far corner, Coleman lands up through the arc, free throw line dish to the near side. Milos Jovic pulls up and hits the brakes near corner. Back to off the key for Isaiah Coleman Lance. Back to the near corner. Jovic thought about the three. Steps in. Back to off the key. Coleman Lance. Eight to shoot. Flails it up for the free throw line and it's good for Isaiah Coleman Lance, who jumped up in the air and then shot the ball. 17 to 7. Miami dr will drop that scoreless streak here with 10.37 to go in the first half. Top to key. Louisville with the ball. Johnson down the right wing. Was at the elbow and got fouled. Coleman Lands is matched up with him. He will pick up Miami's fourth team foul of the half. And it's Coleman Lands first. And Louisville will get the inbound here at the baseline with 20 to shoot. Lamar Kimmel will toss it in over the head of Jovic, and he will find Jordan Wara top the key. Drive down the left wing, pull up jumper, off the glass it in on Jovic. Wara now will give Louisville the 19 to 7 lead. There's the Red Hawks here offensively again. Along the near wing, it is Milos Jovic for Miami. Bounce pass, top of the key, Bam Bowman. Little two dribble in and gives it off for Nike Savani back in the game. Savani tries a three, that's short. From the left wing, offensive rebound on Miami. They get to the far corner, Jovic tried again. That went off the far side of the rim and back off the glass and out. Fast break the other way, Louisville up the right wing. Pass to the far side, wide open three, Williamson, they kicked it out to him, instead he chose to drill down the, drive down the left side rather, and Williamson on his way toward the hoop was fouled. Or never mind, it just went out of bounds off Louisville. Williamson was upended there by Makai Larry under the hoop, but it just went out of bounds, they never called a foul. Dante Brown is gonna return into the game for Miami, Jovic will be out. As Brown steps in here to inbound the ball with 9.50 to go in half number one. 19 to 7, Louisville on top. As Rocks here on the ball, offensive end of the floor. Top to keep Brown, pass to the near wing. Makai Larry got a screen from Brown but kept the ball. Now a dish cross court, far side to Vandy, tripped up. And the ball out of bounds. They're going to say it went off the Red Hawks. No foul called. Lamar Kimball came in to defend him. And Savani landing awkwardly on that right leg. And that was the one that gave him trouble in the game against MBSU on Sunday back in Millet. And Savani walking back to the other side of the floor fine. But that was the problem here that kept him out of that game Sunday. Actually, they just took him out. Never mind, he walked right to the bench after that play, and Savani's going to take a seat, so Owens is sitting him here as a precautionary measure. As a pass to the free throw line down toward the hoop for Louisville, picked off by Brown, but they're going to whistle a foul here on Miami. Pam Bowman picks up his first. With 9.22 to go here in half number one, Louisville will get the ball here on an inbound, 15 foul against Miami. Dish back to the top of the key, off the inbound, and then to the near wing. It's Samuel Williamson. Top of the key, a long three. It's too hard. The rebound picked up by Brown off the hands of David Johnson. Back up the floor of the Red Hawks. Right wing, Coleman Lance. Dish to the left side. Bowman, long three attempt, short again. And Miami tonight, one for 11 from outside the arc. Louisville back up the right wing, driving toward the baseline, trying to go for a stretch up and under there. Samuel Williamson. Missed the play, fast break the other way. Red Hawks came down, Makai Larry had the ball stripped away. It went out of bounds off the Red Hawks, they say. 
And Louisville, I believe, is going to get it back here with 8.51 to go in the first half. Well, never mind. Miami instead is going to get it. As a frenzy sequence there coming down the floor with the Red Ox. Coleman Lance will inbound here for Miami. And then we get a foul here. Two referees whistling it. Before the ball is even inbounded, Darius Perry is whistled for the foul here for Louisville. Something had happened under the hoop, and that's his first personal. So now inbounding for Miami, Mikai Larry passed the near side. Bowman locked three again, missed too far right. And Louisville here up the line, left wing, lock stretch pass ahead, but went off the hoop over the head of Stephen Enoch. Back the other way comes Miami. Coleman Lance, free throw line, near side, gave it back for Bowman. Far side here on the right wing, right, let's get it back to the top of the key. Coleman Lance, Mikhail Larry tries a long three and got it. From on the left wing, Mikhail Larry makes it a nine point game, 19-10, Louisville on top, 8.20 to go here in the first. As Mikhail Larry for Miami picks up his first three points of the game. Louisville back the other way, pulling up right elbow, then stepping to the left for a shot off the glass. <laughs> Good by David Johnson for Louisville. Johnson now with four points on the night. 21-10, Cardinals on top. Red Hawks offensive end of the floor. Far side, Larry tries another three. That one missed, off the rim and back out. Louisville the rebound. And a cross-court pass over the line right wing is Darius Perry for the Cardinals. A little floater inside, Steve Enoch working there right wing. He fired a jumper from the corner that missed. Too hard that time. And the Racks pick up the rebound, they're up the left side. Delonte Brown pass for Isaiah Coleman Lance. Top of the key for Miami. Pass to the far side. Larry pulls up from the yard. A jumper. That's good. Larry. Guy Larry seems to be the only one that can shoot it from the field for Miami and make it tonight. Five points for him. And a 21-12 lead here for Louisville. 7.20 to go first half. Top of the key. Darius Perry with the ball for the Cardinals. Left-handed shovel. As to his left, David Johnson returns back for Perry. Now on the right wing, Dwayne Sutton, long three there, missed off the rim, short, it's coming out of bounds. And this Miami bench is fired up right now as they have Louisville within a nine point lead. 21-12, the Cardinals lead it at this media timeout, 7.06 to go in the first half. Is when that stoppage occurred, Jack Owens came about 10 feet off the bench and made a big fist bump for the entire crowd to see here at the KFC Yup Center. This Miami team has some good energy right now. 21-12, Cardinals are on top, 7.06 left at half number one. It's Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
Seven minutes, six seconds remaining. Half number one for the KFC Up Center in Louisville, Kentucky. Patrick Eschid back with you here. The number three in the nation, Cardinals 21. The Red Hawks in Miami 12. As we enter the later stages here of half number one. Miami five for 22 from the field. Louisville nine for 19. Rex to the ball here, offensive end of the floor after the timeout, running it across the court to the right wing was J. White, pulled up for a pass to Isaiah Coleman, lands it on the floor, Precious Aya kept the play alive and a charge down the middle of the lane by Coleman lands, Louisville draws an offensive foul and that is going down Darius Perry. But a good battle win there on the floor, Precious Aya was tied up with Perry at the free throw line, Aya was able to give it back to Coleman Lance before his drive down the left wing. That's so a Louisville here back the other way with 6.47 left in the first. Over the middle of the floor, Darius Perry pass to the left wing. Catching it there was Ryan McMahon. Back up top of the key, Malik Williams. Near side is Perry. Finds Nora inside. Williams working there. He got taken down before a shot that went off the bottom of the rim by Precious Zaya. And a foul whistle there against Miami with 6.34 to go here in the first. And there will be free throws coming here for Malik Williams. He'll get two, a 71% free throw shooter on the year. The 6'11", 245 junior center out of Fort Wayne, Indiana. Malik Williams has, in the last season for Louisville, blocked a shot in 26 of their 34 games makes the first free throw. He started their last 20 games of the year last season. Appearing in every game this year, averaging 7.4 points per game. Three dribbles, gets the shot off with the right arm and missed too hard on the second free throw and a 10 point lead remains for Louisville here. Miami 17 fouls, so the Cardinals will be shooting one and one free throws for every foul Miami commits. Top of the key, quarterback in the offense, Dana Grant. Pass to the near side, Coleman Lance walks it back up top. Now charging it from the corner, Brown trying to get up and under there. Blocked away at the hoop, the ball picked up by Precious Zaya and a put back is good off the glass and in. Precious Zaya's first two points of the game makes it a 22-14 Cardinal lead with 6.05 to go in the first. Darius Perry over the timeline right away, passes it back. McMahon gave it to the far side, catching it there. Dwayne Sutton, long three, far side. It was missed wide by Perry on an air ball, although picked up under the hoop by Louisville. Precious side, the defensive prevent Malik Williams for getting a shot off. As Williams is on the right side of the hoop, and Aya that time got both arms up to block the attempt. Ross got the ball over the timeline right wing. Coleman lands top of the key. Pass to the near side, Aya will wait. Looks for options, far side, three for up. Coleman lands too hard. Big rebound though, came all the way near to half court. Redox picked it up, and a fresh shot clock here with 15 seconds on it. Middle of the floor, Day Day Grant. Dribbles at top of the key, pull up three. Well, missed too hard. Aya trying to commit for the offensive rebound, but Malik Williams got to it first. Little quickly up the floor, right wing. Big man, pull up three is good. Well, big man got a pass from Malik Williams at half court, a bullet right down low, and he was fired off the three to give Louisville the 11 point lead back. Five minutes to go here in the first half. Brown near wing, inside the arc, fires off a fadeaway jumper, off the rim, off the glass, but no good. Rebound to Louisville, Darius Perry. Cutting across the floor, left the ball behind at half court. By Jay White takes it free, break down the other way for Day Day Grant. He missed the layup though, as Darius Perry came in on defense last second to nearly block the attempt. Perry, far side pass, Louisville offensive end of the floor. Corner three here, Wara, no. And back to Coleman, Lanz who catches it on the rebound and will slow the game down for Miami here. With 4.26 to go in the first half. 25-14, Louisville leads it. Miami 0 for 4 in their last four field goals. Brown coming down the near baseline to charge. A block there by Louisville prevented that attempt. It went out of bounds off the Cardinals. And the Rocks will get an inbound here along the near baseline with 16 seconds on the shot clock. Harris Perry is out for Louisville on the last whistle. As Louisville here will defend the Red Hawks inbound. 4.19 to go in the first half. Little give and go off the inbound back to 
Makai Larry, who came up toward the free throw line for a shot, but missed the foul call before it. And it is on Louisville. Fresh Kimball, who came in to replace Perry on the last whistle, is whistled for that, and it's Louisville's 14th foul to half. Josh Brewer is out for the Red Hawks. Delonte Brown, or excuse me, Josh Brewer in for Miami. Delonte Brown is out. As an inbound here near side, Savani to the near corner for Makai Larry. 17 to shoot for Miami. Larry back up top. Savani drive down the right side off the glass. It is good. A foul whistled though, and it might be an and one. And I believe it is. Nike Savani drawing the end one foul and made the basket. He came down the right side of the paint off the glass. As it looks like they picked up Kimball for the foul. That's his first. And Nike Savani here, a free throw shot to complete a three point play with 4.08 to go in the first. Missed it short. 25 16. Louisville leads it. Scarnell's back at the floor of the timeline right away. Kimmel, they get back to the top of the key. Dwight Sutton, left wing pass for Kimmel. Far corner, a little pass inside under the hoop off the tip of the hands of Malik Williams and out of bounds. That came in for the far side by Jordan Wara. Louisville unable to convert on the offensive attempt. It's out of bounds of the Cardinals with 3.54 to go in the first. Louisville leads it 25 16 from the Yum Center in Louisville, late first half. This is Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Three minutes, 54 seconds remaining in the first half from Louisville, Kentucky. Patrick Eschen back with you here on Red Hawk Radio. 25-16, the Cardinals lead it. As Miami shooting seven for 30 from the field right now for 23%. Louisville, 43% for the field, 10 for 23. Red Hawks with the ball offensively after the timeout. Mikhail Larry pulls up. Top of the key, a pass down low to the right elbow. Aya gave it back, top of the key, Sabani. Back down low, Aya off the glass and in with the right arm. Sabani and Aya, the duo there for Miami to get two points on the board. 
And this is now a seven point game, 25-18. Louisville leads at three and a half to go in the first. Colonels with the ball on the right wing. Ryan McMahon pulling up with Saban. He gets it back for the top to key lock three. McMahon, yes. Nothing but net for Ryan McMahon and for Louisville right now. They take back the 10 point lead, 28-18 to score. Six points of the day for McMahon. Far corner, it was Brewer. Top of the key, Mikai Larry. Near side, a three coming off from Savani too hard. Big rebound, MyJ White tipped it. Along with McMahon under the hoop. MyJ White trying to say it is the Red Hawks ball after going out of bounds along the near baseline, but Louisville will get the call. Bam Bowman's gonna come in the game for Miami. He'll replace Precious Aya. And the 6'6", 225 retro junior out of Green Forest, Georgia will take a seat. So Louisville back the other way. It's Lamar Kimball who is running the offense right now for the Cardinals. Backs up over the line, left wing, a pass toward the sideline, went out of bounds as Sabandi was defending McMahon there. It went off Sabandi, trying to get in the way of the pass. Louisville will get the ball here on an inbound with 22 to shoot. On the far sideline, Jordan Wara will find Kimball at half court. Pass to the left wing, Ryan McMahon. Little bounce here to the right wing. They get it to Kimball. Has room, steps inside the arc. Little three here, moving toward his right, getting it off. Was Wara maybe tried too hard there. As uh, coming down the floor the other way, Mikai Larry tripped up, no call. Near corner three, MyJ White, no. It was too hard, the rebound picked up by Louisville. They're out here two for 18 from outside the arc now. Lamar Kimball, top of the key. Then he gets it back from a pass in the middle. Long three, missed that time from Kimball. It's tipped off the glass. Louisville, the offensive rebound. And Sabandi, who also went for that, will be whistled for the foul. First touch went to Jordan Wara. He picked up the ball, went to the floor, and Sabandi made contact there. So that'll be the first against Sabandi. And the eighth team foul against Miami. One and one free throws on the way here for Jordan Wara. Fresh Kimball is out for Louisville. And back in David Johnson. Free throw here on the one and one. The first one missed by Warren. Right up to the rebound. And they have numbers coming the other way. Far corner, Jovic pulls up. Back for a three, Mikhail Larry. Too far left. Rebound caught off the bounce by Dwayne Sutton for Louisville. And a pass to David Johnson. They're slowly up the floor over the line, left wing. Johnson top the key, got a small screen there from Sutton, back to the far side, they get it inside the arc. Steven Enoch had the ball high above his head, we get a whistle here for an offensive foul against Louisville. As McMahon whistled for his first, must have had a three second violation against him, he was under the hoop. And with a 147 to go in half number one, Louisville holding on to the 28-18 lead. It'll be an inbound here for Delonte Brown for Miami. Their defensive end of the floor, far sideline. One bounce into the hands of Makai Larry, who trots across the middle of the timeline here for Miami to set up offensively. Larry cutting toward the right wing. Foul whistled here. Bowman was setting a screen against David Johnson. Bowman whistled for his second personal there. A little bit too much contact. Prevented Larry from moving too toward the far side of the floor. So Louisville will get it back here. Turnovers 7-6 in favor of the Cardinals so far as we near the 92nd to go mark of the first half. David Johnson on the line, left wing. Passes back for Ryan McMahon. Has trouble knocking the ball free. My Jay White, he knocked it out of bounds. It goes off of White, but Canucks able to knock it out of the hands of Ryan McMahon there, and they'll set Louisville back a little bit. They have 19 to shoot. Inbound coming from Samuel Williamson. One bounce to the hands of David Johnson. Walks toward the right wing, pass to McMahon, far side, outside the arc. He's working with MyJ White. Back to the near side, it is David Johnson. Pulls up free throw line, pass down low. And we get a whistle here, a travel under the hoop for Louisville that time with Steven Enoch. Tried to go up once under the hoop, didn't commit, then went up for the second time. He didn't commit then, and then took the step to give the ball back to Miami for the traveling call. Mikai Larry pass to the right wing. Delonte Brown holds it. Back to the near side, Jovic. Quick bullet inside, and Brown, a nice dribble past the defender, Dwayne Sutton, off the glass of the right arm and in. 55 seconds to go in the first half. Redux 
Down by eight to the Louisville Colonels. This crowd trying to get them back in this game. 28-20, the home team on top. Down the left wing, Sammy Williamson. Pass back outside. Johnson thinking about the three. Drive down the right wing. The pass down low. Broken up by Miami. It went off the hands of Kyle Airy out the baseline. Rux with a good job defensively breaking up that pass down low, but it went off Miami. Louisville 14 to shoot. 41.9 seconds to go in the first half. David Johnson passes the free throw line. Coming up with a pass back was Sutton. And wide open for the three. David Johnson missed it too far right. Rux got a break there. Johnson was defended by Maje White, but White was about three feet behind him and allowed the three-pointer to go off. 20 to shoot, 23 to go in the first half for Miami, who has the ball offensively here. Makai Larry would like to make the lead less than eight for Louisville. He's just dribbling it here at half court for Miami. Larry between the left and right arm. Louisville adding pressure, five to shoot. Pass far wing, Brown long three, no good. Too far left, Louisville the ball. Three seconds to go, they're up the left wing. McMahon, center court shot, no good. He missed it short. As he pulled up there at the buzzer, and we are through one half of play. The Miami Red Hawks trailing the Louisville Cardinals 28 to 20 after 20 minutes here from the KFC Yum Center. Well, if you're Jack Owens, you gotta be pretty happy with that performance in the first half. As there is one point, it looked like Louisville was going to run away with this one, but the Red Hawks Still down by eight, but they've been hanging with the Colonels so far through the first 20 minutes. Of course, the second half could be a completely different story, but it seems the Rocks are in tune and playing pretty well for this game. Tonight at the KFC Yump Center, they trail the Colonels by a score of 28-20 after 20 minutes. So we'll take a look at your first half stats here. Louisville, 11 for 28 for the field. Red Hawks, nine for 36. That's 25% for Miami, 39% for Louisville from the field. The biggest struggle right now for Miami, they're trying to get the three ball working and it is not. They are only two for 20 from outside the arc. That's 10% for the Red Hawks for three point land. Louisville, slightly better results. They're four for 14 for 29%. Miami, 0 for 1 from the charity stripe in free throws. Louisville 2 for 5 or 40% from the free throw line. Louisville leads the turnovers by an 8-6 margin. Red Hawks 7 points off Louisville's turnovers. Louisville has 3. Louisville and Miami tied in total rebounds with 24 apiece. Red Hawks have 4 second chance points to none for Louisville. Miami 11 bench points to Louisville's 8. Cardinals have 10 points in the paint to Miami's 8. And in the fast break, Louisville leads that margin by a 3-2 fast break point lead. Four blocks for Louisville, none for Miami. Two steals, Miami, one for Louisville, five assists the Red Hawks, four for the Cardinals. This game has been tied twice for three minutes and 36 seconds total. We got 28-20, your score, Louisville on top here through 20 minutes. We'll take a quick break here for halftime. It'll be about a 13 and a half minute break before we begin the second half here from the KFC Yump Center in Louisville. Again, the number three ranked in the nation, Louisville Cardinals 28, the Miami Red Hawks 20. At the half here, it is Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Back with you for second half action in about 13 minutes or so here on Red Hawk Radio.
Rich Rick here with a little bit of medicine. Allison Bottenhausen from the Phoenix can keep you in the game. Serving the local community since 1954. The city of the ortho.com. Now check out Do You Remember? We would like to thank all of those that found their way to be generous, donating over 1,000 toys to Kyle's Corner for kids. Now today's UPS My Choice for Business Game Alerts from the official logistics company of the Cardinals, UPS.
Back here at the KFC Up Center in Louisville, Kentucky, Patrick Eschen with the air from downtown Louisville on this Wednesday night. Louisville taking a 28-20 lead into the second half. Number three team in the nation having some trouble against the Miami Red Hawks at times in the opening 20 minutes. And we'll see how they respond to the Red Hawks' strong defense under the hoop, especially allowing the Red Hawks to stay in this game. Miami, though, able to make some clutch offensive shots as well at times when they've needed them. As the first few possessions, Miami able to respond pretty handily to Louisville's first couple of baskets on the next offensive possession. Miami will get the basketball here to begin things in the second half. Louisville will move right to left across the radio, Miami left to right. As they'll try to get the crowd fired up here before the second half begins. And the Red Hawks with an inbound. Dane Grant to the left wing and the offensive end of the floor to Nike Sabani. Brown quickly to Bowman under the hoop. Near corner three. Day Day Grant got it. Day Day Grant makes it a five point game. 28 23. Louisville on top. Red Hawks starting off that second half with a bang. Louisville. Here at the middle of the floor, Darius Perry back to the far side. Cardinals here will control it. Going around Zabandi was McMahon, the ball in his arms. In a full circle in front of Zabandi's body. 10 to shoot, they get it to the left elbow. Work in there on Bam Bowman, a left-handed hook shot, no good by Steven Eno, the 6'10", 255 redshirt senior. Rex back the other way, middle of the floor. Pulling up left side drive. It was Grant giving it back to a little float shot missed by Delonte Brown. And the Colonel's back the other way here over the line, left wing, Darius Perry. Top of the key, had some room to drive, pull up from the left elbow, missed. Rebound tipped around, Rox grab it, right wing, Dana Grant cross court pass to the left side for Nike Sabani. Sabani caught a bit air, pulls to the brakes. Along the left wing at the arc, little floater inside, Brown the two-handed jam! Delonte Brown makes this a three-point one possession game. The crowd trying to get Louisville back into it. 18.40 to go in the second. The Miami Red Hawks trail the Cardinals by just a score of 28-25. Delonte Brown in a two-handed jam, the last possession. Cardinals with the ball here along the near wing. Steven Enoch back to the top of the key. Darius Perry will step back here with seven to shoot for Louisville. Pass down to the near corner. Steven Enoch again, back for Perry. Long three, yes. <laughs> And so Darius Perry makes it a six point game again by a score of 31 25. Cardinals here with the ball, or the Red Hawks rather, the ball along the near side. Three, Bam Bowman missed too hard. Rebound picked up by the Cardinals, and Miami will have to do a good job here preventing Will from getting a lot of momentum here after that last offensive possession. Foul whistled under the hoop with the ball outside the arc in the Louisville offensive end of the floor. It's against Miami. On Bam Bowman, his third personal. And the first team foul against Miami in the second half. Precious Aya will come out, or come in rather, Bam Bowman is out. As Bam Bowman now up to three personal fouls here only in the beginning of the second half. Perry tries another three near side, missed it short. Louisville can't catch the rebound, Miami gets it. Under their own hoop, Savani over the line, left wing. Hits a breaks free throw line, then decides to charge in, lost control of the ball. It went off Perry, who was his defender, and out the near corner, back to the Red Hawks with 22 to shoot, and 17-38 left in the second. So Savani here will get it, in the near corner for Miami. Pass to the near side, outside the arc is Day Day Grant with the ball. 
And Grant trying to go left side for a charge and able to get the lane and through. Off the glass, and good with the left arm, Danny Grant. 17-26 to go in the second. It's a four-point Cardinal lead, 31-27. Top of the key, Darius Perry charging toward the right wing, back up top, get a foul whistled here. He was looking to go back to the top of the key for Dwayne Sutton. Precious Aya will pick up the second team foul for Miami. As Aya now up to two personal in the game. Cardinals on the inbound here, 20 to shoot. Top of the key, Jordan Wara, pass to the right wing. Outside the arc, waiting with Sutton. Perry, a little pull up jumper here, step inside the arc, top of the key, no good. Offensive rebound though, Louisville left side, putting it off the glass, no good was Jordan Warren, then catching the rebound for the Cardinals, Stephen Enoch. His put back attempt draws a foul against Precious Saya, who just picks up his third. Already the third team foul against Miami, not even three minutes into the second half, and Louisville will be shooting free throws here. Two are coming for Stephen Enoch. 6'10", 255, redshirt senior center out of Norwalk, Connecticut. Transfer from UConn. This is first season with Louisville. He had 20 games off the bench last year. Scored 23 points in the game against Eastern Kentucky. Makes the first free throw. And with that, Enoch averaging 11.7 points per game this season. Second one is good to extend the Cardinal lead to 33-27. So Enoch now with four points on the day. And over the line left wing, here comes Tandy Grant from Miami. Pass down to the left wing. Sibani back up toward the point. Little shovel pass, right arm. Missed Precious Saya. It was blocked on its way there. Aya was under the hoop. Louisville over the line left wing. McMahon back top of the key. Perry floater pass in. Broke it up there by Precious Saya. They're back the other way. Grant top of the key. Pull up free throw line jumper. It was in and out. And we get a foul whistle here. Delonte Brown knocked over in the left elbow. It's going to be on the Cardinals. And they're going to pick up Dwayne Sutton for his second personal here. As Grant missing the jumper, but Brown catching the rebound was fouled. And Sutton will get his second. Inbound coming from Miami. 20 to shoot. 16-39 to go in the second. Red Hawks trail by six to Louisville. Milos Jovic will come into the game for Miami. Brown is out. As Delonte Brown exits with four points in the night here for the Cardinals. Savani, the toss to the far side. Dana Grant from Miami has it top of the key. Little run up there, and he pulls up for a jumper. It was inside the arc. It was at the top half of the free throw area, and Miami now within four again, 33-29. This crowd trying to get Louisville back in the game. Cardinals here a little lackadaisical in the second half. Top of the key, Jordan Warren, near side three, Perry. No, it was too hard. Picked up in a tie up here between my J. White, and it looked like, well, I don't know who it was down there for Louisville. They both fell over. It was number five, Malik Williams, tied up with my J. White. The jump ball whistle, possession arrow in favor of Louisville, who gets the ball back here with 20 to shoot at 16-13 to go in the second. As the Cardinals here will bring Fresh Kimball back in the game, Perry is going to sit. And Kimball steps in to inbound the ball. Far corner, McMahon. Hits the brakes, back up top, free throw line. Near side three is in and out. That time from Wara. Rocks hit the rebound. Back up to left wing, Sabani. Pulls up outside the arc. Now back for a three. It's too hard. Rebound, Dana Grant. Tipped it to McNamara. The Rocks keep it alive. As it is, Grant now walking up toward the top of the key. Pass down the left wing. McNamara inside the arc. Pull up jumper. Missed. Rebound under the hoop. Picked up here by Jordan Wara, who catches it. And up to left wing comes Louisville, fresh kibble. Hits the brakes, hit the arc, back to the top of the key, Wara. Far side passing it back, top of the key, tried down the right wing, pass to the near side, coming up for the shot, no good. Was Malik Williams back out to the arc, Wara here with a pass to the far wing. McMahon thought about the three, then gets one off. It's short, put back, no good with two hands by Dwayne Sutton. It was right under the hoop and timed that entry to the front of the basket very well. 35-29, Louisville back up by six. This crowd getting loud and restless. They want Louisville to try to run away with this one. Grant near wing for Miami. Three there from the far side, I missed. 
Too far left for Day Day Grant. Maybe not the best shot to take. A little bit over the line, left wing. Kimball pass to the near side. Dwayne Sutton drive down the right side. It was off the right hand, off the glass, and in. Playing up charge for Dwayne Sutton, the redshirt senior out of Louisville, eighth in the ACC in points per game, and this crowd is into it. Jack Goins calls a timeout. With 14.41 to go in half number two, Louisville 37, Miami 29. As the Red Hawks have to calm down, what I would guess is about 15,000 in attendance tonight here at the KFC Up Center. We'll take a timeout. 14.41 to go here in half number two for Louisville, Kentucky. Cardinals 37, Rocks 29. Back in a moment to Miami basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Back here at the upsetter, a Louisville 14-41 is left at half number two. Cardinals 37, Red Hawks 29. As after the timeout, Miami will inbound the ball here for the near sideline in the offensive end of the floor. Delonte Brown and the Red Hawks will have 23 seconds to shoot. Brown, the inbounder here for Miami. Finds Tate Grant, top of the key on the inbound pass. Back to the right wing here for Brown and on top of the key, McNamara. Far side, Jovic, top of the key for Sabani. Bounce pass down low, McNamara found a break. Wide open left side of the post. Off to glass it in with a left hand. 37-31, Louisville leads it. Fresh Kimmel leads the offense back the other way for the Cardinals. Hits the breaks, top of the arc, left wing. And then we get a whistle here, a three second violation on Louisville. As looks like they're under the hoop for too long was Malik Williams, number five in white. And we get a timeout here, I believe called by the Cardinals. Who will use their first with 14-16 to go in the second, and we'll take a timeout as well. Cardinals 37, Rocks 31, it's Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Back in a moment from the Yum Center.
14-16 to go in app number two. Cardinals 37, Miami 31. As Louisville using their first time out of the game to cause that last stoppage. They have three left. Miami has two. Red Hawks three team fouls in the second frame to Louisville's so one. Miami offensive end of the floor here with a ball out of the timeout. A pass to the far side here for Delonte Brown and back to the top of the key, McNamara. Uses his tall reach to get it down low. Brown, right arm shot off the front of the rim, draws a foul, it missed. As they will call Wara for his second and the team's second in this second half. Brown will step in for two free throws. Delonte Brown, the 6'7", 200 junior guard out of Toledo, second on the team in scoring, coming in averaging 13.3 points per game, had 14 in the game Sunday against MBSU, makes the first free throw. Brown, an 80.6% free throw shooter on the year, second in the team behind number one, Nike Savani, who's 83.3% for the charity stripe. Second one good for Brown, two clutch ones there, makes it a four point game again. 37-33, Louisville on top, 14 minutes to go in the second. Lamar Kimball over the middle of the line, pass to the left wing, controlled here by Jordan Wara. Down to the near corner, they got it to McMahon, back up top to Key Williams. Malik Williams finds Kimball, pass to the right wing, 12 to shoot for Louisville. Right elbow, pull up jumper is in and out for Malik Williams, offensive rebound though, taking it to the Cardinals, Brown. Try to tie up the man. That was Dwayne Sutton who got it for Louisville. Brown is whistled for the foul. Under the hoop. It'll be the 14th foul against Miami. Delonte Brown will pick up his first. Louisville at inbound here with 20 to shoot and 13.37 to go in the second. We're not going to have to watch the fouls. They don't want to give Louisville too many free throw opportunities later on in this game. And a spin around 360 shot. Good from the right side of the paint by Wara. To put Louisville up 39-33. Rocks quickly back down the floor. Wara up to seven points of the game here for the Cardinals. Sabani free throw line, dishes near side. Larry can't get off the three pointer. Bounce pass to the left wing. McNamara upended, get it off the glass, but no good. Louisville back the other way out the left wing. Campbell, though, stripped to the ball at half court. McNamara, the diving attempt to keep it. Campbell dribbling, 20 to shoot, barely gets it across the timeline in time. And Louisville here will control it back top of the key. They get to the near side. Wara long three. Yes. Well, 47 to go in the second. Red Hawks almost had an offensive chance that time. Then they let Louisville take over a three-point opportunity to make it. Larry top of the key, drive to the right side. Pass tipped away, though, looking down for McNamara. Went off the top to Hannah Malik Williams. And out of bounds off the Cardinals. Out the far corner. Steven Enoch back in for Louisville. So is Malik Williams. Isaiah Coleman lands back in for Miami. He'll replace Nike Saban, who had a brief stint on the floor after that last media timeout. It'll be Coleman lands to inbound here with 12.35 to go in the second. Bounce pass to the far corner for Delonte Brown. Back to the left wing and walking towards the top of the key is Makai Larry. Pass to the near side, Coleman lands, returns to Larry. Drive down the right side, off the glass and in. That one was tipped off a Louisville hand. It went up high, off the glass and dropped through. 42-35, Louisville on top. Jova could charge in on the left wing right at the arc with Wara trying to make the move toward the hoop. Jovic giving him a hand right in the chest. And that draws a foul against the Red Hawks. 12-17 to go in the second. Jovic's first personal. Near side inbound coming for the Cardinals here with 27 to shoot. Precious Saya back in the game for Miami. McNamara will sit. As we're here in inbound toward half court, it's caught by Fresh Kimball. A little floater inside for Wara, back for Kimball. Now Wara the drive down the right side. He pulled up for a little hook shot that missed from the side of the hoop, the right side. Danny Grant the other way. A left wing three from Coleman Lands, no good. Offensive rebound to Lante Brown, the putback attempt, and he draws a foul. To Lante Brown in front of the hoop there with 11.58 to go in the second. We'll be shooting two free throws after this timeout from Louisville. 42-35, the Colonels leading the Red Hawks in the KFC Yump Center. It's Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
11.58 is left at half number two here for the upsetter in Louisville. Cardinals on top, 42-35 on Miami. As they did pretty fun promotion here after the, or during the timeout, they had the mistletoe can. They put a couple under a fake mistletoe drawing on the Jumbotron that was top center of the screen. Delonte Brown is going to shoot two free throws here out of the timeout. Crowd making some noise, trying to mess him up. Delonte Brown doesn't face this kind of adversity on Millette Hall trying to shoot a free throw, and he will make the first one. It bounce about three times around the rim. Brown's second trip to the line in this half. Three for three now in free throws today. Try to go perfect here on this trip. 11.58 is left in the second. Brown, the second one, drops right through. 42-37, Louisville the five-point lead. Red Hawks have kept this one close all night long. Lamar Fresh Kimball over the timeline, middle of the floor for the Cardinals. Dish to the right wing for David Johnson. Up high on Day Day Grant, back outside the arc. Back to the top of the key, Kimball. We'll get it to the near side, the weak side, wide open three, too hard, and the offensive rebound though from Louisville. Three came in from Sutton, they get it back to the top of the key, David Johnson here for the Cardinals. Near corner, Sutton. Fade away three, Wara, too hard, and it's tipped out, another offensive rebound for the Cardinals, and 20 to shoot again. Sutton on the right wing, 11-20 to go in the first. Top the key, Wara. Thinking about the three, then pulling back, Kimball, drive down the left side, still inside the arc. Outside here, Wara on the right wing, six to shoot for the Cardinals. Driving in on Jovic, Wara spin around, gets it up and in with two hands. A pretty move there by Wara on Jovic. 360 and a two-hand fadeaway shot from 10 feet. 44-37 Cardinals. Far wing Jovic, offensive fan of the floor for Miami. Dede Grant, double team, pass to Aya, who walks to the far corner outside the arc. Top of the key, Coleman lands, near side pass. Jovic tipped it off his hand and out of bounds. 
That's just too far left for Milos Jovic, and now you got to wonder with this game kind of getting down to the wire here, and it's fairly close. How are the Red Hawks going to handle the nerves? A lot of them haven't played in front of a crowd as big as this one. As you would probably guess, about 15,000 attendance tonight at the Yum Center. And the attendance for the Sunday game against MVSU is listed as 981 at Millette Hall. So playing in front of 15 times more people than maybe you're usually used to. David Johnson from the top line, left side of the floor. Louisville gets it in the paint, right-handed hook shot short there for Sutton. Red Hawks tip it out to the near corner and pick it up. It's over the line, right wing, Dana Grant. Hits the brakes, nice move with a behind the back dribble off the glass, no good, can't complete the play. He absolutely undressed Sutton there at the arc, but able to finish it off, back the other way, quick three, it's Epic Man missed it too hard. Offensive rebound, or the rebound rather, the defensive rebound picked up by the Red Hawks, and it was Coleman Lands who gets it to Grant on the left wing. Coleman Lands top the key. Right side, Delonte Brown back up top. Coleman Lands, Aya left wing, 15 to shoot Miami. Has now less than 10 minutes or left in half number two. Day Day Grant, free throw line, put it up for Brown, a tip there across the hoop, it missed. It's out of bounds as Precious Aya was going for that loose ball, so was Sutton. They say. The ball will stay with Miami. The crowd doesn't like it. Five to shoot here for the Red Hawks. We'll send Coleman Lance to the baseline to inbound the ball. Brewer back in for Miami. Louisville brings back in Samuel Williamson. And will take out Jordan Wara. Wara's their leading scorer today with 12 points. Three seconds to shoot. Dede Grant near side. Coleman Lance waiting to get off at three. It's too hard. The shot clock expires. Louisville picks up the ball under the hoop and they're back over the timeline, middle of the floor. David Johnson hits to the bricks and the Cardinal at half court. They get it to the far wing here. My Jay White was working on the man, top of the key. It is David Johnson, dished down the right side, back up top. It is a drive there and a shot flailed up by Williamson for the free throw line, no good. A rebound picked up by Miami, but Dane Grant was knocked over by Enoch. And it will be a foul here on Louisville, their fourth as a team in the half. So with 9.19 to go in the second, Red Hawks are going to get an offensive inbound here. Enoch is going to come out here for Louisville. The inbound is going to come at the Miami defensive end of the floor, their own baseline. It'll be Josh Brewer to inbound here for Day-Day Grant for Miami. Grant past the left wing, Maje White has the ball for the Red Hawks. Outside the arc, back to the point for Day Day Grant. Here side, Coleman Lance, high in the air, cross court feed. Four and three from Brewer, it's good! Josh Brewer drills it to make it a four point game with 8.55 to go in the second. And if the Red Hawks can get the three ball working, they're gonna be a serious threat to upset the Cardinals. Four for 26 for three point land Miami now. As you can only imagine, now a three from Louisville is good. Far side of the floor. This is a simple pass to the right wing. Ryan McMahon made it. Louisville calls a timeout after that. A 30-second timeout here. It will be their second timeout of the game. 47-40, the Cardinals lead it with 8.41 to go here in the second half. As both teams now have two timeouts remaining on the night. Miami five team fouls in the second half. Louisville has four. Redux are outscoring the Cardinals 20 to 19 here in half number two. So Miami three for 10, or Louisville rather, three for 10 for three point land in this half. Miami two for six. But the Red Hawks have proved this year they can shoot the three ball especially in games earlier on in the season. So if there was any way they could get that work in here, it would make things so much more easier for them in a seven point game with a number three ranked team in the nation with 8.41 to go in the second. And they also have to play defense too. Louisville doing a pretty good job shooting from outside the arc tonight. They're at 29% conversion rate for three point land. So the Rex can stop that too, that'll be huge. Rocks to the ball offensively here. Left wing, it's Coleman Lance. Arriving to the top of the key. Near side, Maje White tries a three. That's too hard. Offensive rebound of McMahon for Louisville. And he's been their biggest three-point throw of the night. Stretch pass ahead under the hoop. The foul, the basket no good. It went to Malik Williams, who drove down to the right post. Got it off the glass, but too hard. He will shoot two free throws, though. 
And the Radicks come in and foul him to save that. And they're lucky it's not an and one there or else this crowd would have erupted. And that's something you don't want to have if you're Miami. Free throw line here, it's Malik Williams. Two bounces, the shot is good from the charity strike. That's the second point of the night for Malik Williams. Louisville back to an eight point lead. Bam Bowman is in for the Red Hawks. Precious Eye is out. And they'll give the ball back for the second free throw to Malik Williams. Junior center out of Fort Wayne, Indiana. Second one no good, but the offensive rebound right to Louisville and they put it in for two. Dwayne Sutton off the glass and went off a of Miami player right to the hands of Sutton who made the easy play unopposed under the basket. 50-40, Cardinals back on top by 10. Danny Grant top to keep for Miami. Going to the right wing. Bam Bowman, the pass back to the top of the key. Coleman lands. Near side, Josh Brewer. Driving down the baseline, up and under with the right arm. No good. Radox racing for it at the baseline, but can't get the rebound. Louisville back the other way. Fast break here. Pass to the right wing. Off the glass and in with the right hand is Malik Williams. After getting a feed from the left side by Jordan Wara. And if you're Jack Owens, you can't do anything but call a timeout. As Louisville on an 8 0 run over the last 55 seconds, but actually, no timeout by Jack Owens. It's there. It's a media timeout here, and lucky that, okay, never mind. We have a review. That's the stuff. So with 7.48 to go, we have a timeout on the floor. There may have been an injury on the play as well. But nobody down on the floor as... Oh, Bam Bowman's down on the floor under the Miami hoop. Hard to tell here. All the fans are standing up around us. We're in an up corner here in one of the sections of the stands at the Yump Center. Bam Bowman was down under the Red Hawk hoop, and they're able to get him up as we reach immediate timeout here from the Yump Center. 7.48 to go in the second Miami Trailing by Louisville, trailing to Louisville by a score of 52 40. It's Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Lante Brown will inbound the basketball for Miami after the media timeout. 7.45 to go in the second half. Louisville right now on an 8-0 run over the last minute have taken a 52-40 lead over the Miami Redhawks. Top of the key, Precious Saya. Gave it off for Dana Grant. Right wing, Delonte Brown to the paint, the drive. 
And a foul whistle there. Brown drew it. As he was making it down the right edge of the paint. And it's going to be on Perry, his second. They spent the media timeout here. And the upsetter getting the crowd fired up. Now in a quick inbound, quick corner three. It's up Brown, bounced once. High off the rim, was tipped around. Louisville back the other way, fast break. Right wing, Wara. Pass back for McMahon, held up at the line. Dish with the left arm to the near corner, sets it. Back up top for Darius Perry. Hits the breaks, free throw line, far side three. Wara, yes, sir. <laughs> So you can make that 15 points of the night for Wara and an 11-0 Louisville run over the last 90 seconds. As the Redux with the ball offensive end of the floor, top of the key, it was Brewer with the ball. He has it on the left wing now. Back up top, Sabani was caught up there as he got the ball tipped away by Darius Perry. And back over the line comes Dana Grant. Pulls up for a long three. Miss with three to shoot. Louisville back the other way. And they get it along the near corner. It's Dwayne Sutton here for the Cardinals. Pass to the right wing for Darius Perry, who's over the timeline for the Cardinals. Perry middle of the floor. Pass to the near side for Ryan McMahon. Back to the right wing for Perry. Inside the arc, guarded by Grant. Right wing Wara to the paint. Flailed it up with the right arm, no good. A foul drawn there by Wara as Aya went down. The call, the blocky foul on Precious Aya. Or excuse me, that was actually my J. White. 6.18 to go on the second. Two shots for the Cardinals now. That's the seventh. Team foul against Miami, so free throw's coming for every Red Hawk foul now to the Cardinals. Wara makes the first one. He's now two for four from the free throw line tonight. Makai, Larry, Nike, Savannah, back it for Miami. Brewer will sit, so will Dana Grant. And the second free throw missed by Wara. Picked up here by Savannah to pass to the right wing as over the line comes Makai, Larry. Larry just to the left side now. Brown in and out of the arc. Back to the top of the key here. They gave it up for Nike, Savani. Right side inside the arc. 14 to shoot for Miami. Six minutes left this second. Near wing now, J. White, inside Brown, right arm cradle, trying to get the shot off, fade away from just outside the paint. Along the baseline, it's no good. Louisville works it back up the right wing. Here's McMahon, near corner for Louisville, back to the top of the key. Sutton, near side jumper is too hard, coming from Perry, offensive rebound though to Malik Williams. Louisville keeps it live. Look at 20 back on the shot clock, 5.35 to go in the second. They're on top by 16, 56-40. As slowing the play down here, Darius Perry at half court for the Cardinals. Perry with a pass to the near wing. Jab step in and then back out came Wara. It's no good. Rebound tipped around here by the Cardinals. And they will draw a foul, getting the offensive rebound. Malik Williams caught it for Louisville. And the Red Hawks that time will commit the foul, Precious Aya. We'll have his fourth personal with 5.16 to go in the second. Miami now up to 18 fouls, and that means one and one free throws coming here for the Cardinals. They will send Malik Williams to the line, who tonight is two for four from the charity stripe for four points. And the first free throw from him is good, so we'll get a second chance as it is a 17 point game now. Five points on the night for Williams. He's three for five. Now from the line. And the second free throw miss. Savani will pick up the rebound for Miami. Pass over the right wing here for Makai Larry. Pulls up top of the arc for the Red Hawks. Makai Larry here with a pass to the left wing. Jovic will catch it for Miami. Inside the arc is Bam Bowman trying to work down there on Malik Williams. Instead, dishes back out. And Maije White with the ball right wing. Gave off for Sabani, seven to shoot. Louisville, good job here around the arc on defense. Sabani has to shoot a three. It's missed left. Rebound to the corner. Sabani picks it up, flails it up in the air. It's kept in by Larry, who tried to play it off the Louisville man and back out of bounds. Larry was in midair trying to catch that ball, same by Sabani. But when Larry came down, he still had the ball, and his foot was out of bounds. 
So Louisville will inbound here. Darius Perry for the Cardinals, 4.40 to go in the second. He's over the timeline, middle of the floor for Louisville, and a pass to McMahon here, top of the key. McMahon dancing around the arc, right side, tripped up. Foul whistle there. It could be on Sabandi, and it is. The Rocks have not scored a point in the last four minutes and 32 seconds. Louisville a 13-0 run in the last four minutes, 13. Miami one for 10 in their last 10 field goal attempts, missed their last six. 19 foul against the Red Hawks, one on one. Free throws coming for Ryan McMahon. And the first one is good, so he'll get a second opportunity. The Rocks are back home on Saturday. They'll play December the 21st against Bradley, a 2 p.m. start for Millette. They have two straight home games coming up. The next one, December 30th against Wilberforce. That's at 2 p.m. as well. Second free throw made by McMahon. Louisville, this kind of a tune-up for them before they visit Kentucky, the number six ranked team in the nation at 3.45 Eastern time on Saturday at Rupp Arena in Lexington. 59-48 Cardinals on top. MyJ White, Jovic top of the key, left wing at Savani. Back up top here for Bam Bowman, leaves the dish for Makai Larry. Charging down the right wing, and a big block there. Malik Williams, it came in on MyJ White. It was up in the air for about a half second, and the ball just went straight down. We'll go back up the floor. They hold it here at half court. It's Darius Perry. Starter for the Cardinals, back to the near side for Kimball. Walks it toward the far side, dribbling with the left hand, now the right. Trying to look for a play, eight to shoot for the Cardinals, still top of the key. Sutton tries to drive down the right wing, off the glass, no good with the right arm. Put back though is good by Malik Williams, who is right there waiting for the ball. Rux with it over the timeline, right wing. Maje White for Jovic, top of the key, 61-40, Cardinals lead it. Bam Bowman for Savandi. Left wing pass, three attempt Larry, from downtown, he makes it. Off the square above the hoop and the backboard and good for Larry and Jack Goins will call a full timeout after that bucket. 61-43, the Cardinals lead it. 3.27 to go in half number two. We're back to the ump center in a moment. It's Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
327 to go in half number two. Cardinals 61, Red Hawks 43 on Red Hawk Radio. Patrick Gestion with you here for the upsetter in Louisville. As the Cardinals with a fast break after the timeout. Jordan Wara came in. He got a feed from the right side. Tricky down the left wing on a pose. The right handed jam through the hoop. And Louisville 63, Miami 43. Well, the first 10 minutes of the second half, we really didn't see the number three team in the nation. I don't think they turned a switch, though, with about 10 minutes to go in the half, and then we saw it. Currently on a 19-3 run over the Red Hawks in the last six minutes or so. Cardinals with the ball here, less than three minutes to go in the second. Pass to the near side, Perry. Back top of the key, it's Wara. Right side still outside the arc, Campbell. Top of the key, Wara. One bounce, steps in. Jumper from inside the arc, missed too far left. Dana Grant, rebound over the line, left wing for Miami. Pass to Maje White, outside the arc, Bowman pulled up. Inside the arc, they thought he traveled, took a step, thinking about a three. Jovic, top of the key, reverses direction, back to the right side. It's the free throw line, left edge of the paint, back out for Bowman. 11 to shoot. Top of the key, Dana Grant lost control of the ball to the far sideline and was able to save it for going out of bounds. Now three to shoot. Grant still the ball, left wing three in and out. Rebound picked up by Wara though on the right wing for Louisville and Danny Grant got some contact up high before Wara got to half court and so foul on that. And now two free throws are coming out the line for Louisville. That's 10 team fouls now against Miami. Jordan Wara has 18 points tonight. He leads the Cardinals. Second on the team would be Dwayne Sutton, number 24 in white. He has 14 points. And Perry leading the team with four assists tonight for Louisville. First free throw good there for Jordan Wara. They bring Coleman Lance back in. Miami does. Sitting out will be Makai Larry now with 2.11 to go in the second. Cardinals 64, Miami 43. And Wara about to shoot free throw number two and makes it. Samuel Williamson will come in. Jordan Wara will exit the game here for the standing ovation at the up center. We'll leave with 20 points on the night to lead the Cardinals. Near side, Day Day Grant for Miami. Back to the far wing for Milos Jovic. Offensive end of the floor. Top of the key three, Bam Bowman left. Foul coming under the hoop. The rebound is going to Jovic, but Louisville drew something under the basket. Nope, Louisville instead committed something under the basket. Williamson will pick up Louisville's sixth foul of the second. I think it's an inbound here with 20 to shoot and 155 left in the second half. Pass far side, Dana Grant charging up the far baseline. Floater with the right arm, no good. Completely missed the hoop. Louisville caught it in midair, that was Sutton. And here comes Kimball over the timeline, middle of the floor for the Cardinals. Dribbling between the left and right hand, between the legs, guarded by Grant. Left wing, it's Darius Perry, top of the key, and they give it to Williamson. Back outside, Malik Williamson. To Keith Otto now on the far side for Louisville. Perry, top of the key, sets it. Driving down the left edge of the paint, two to shoot, spin around shot, in and out. Rebound picked up, Coleman Lance, over the timeline, left wing. Lance, pass to the near side, tipped off the hands of Maja White, right back, two on one the other way for the Cardinals, down the left wing, and a pass back to the trailer to one-handed jam, Malik Williams. Wow. Left wing, Day Day Grant, and he was fouled driving down the left edge of the baseline. Louisville had a two on one the other way, War or big man was in there. I believe Enoch was in there as well, and then the trailer for Louisville, Williams. He really was originally part of that two-on-one rush. Got a pass back and just slammed it home. And Louisville here will start a yard sale. They're gonna replace everybody that's out there on the floor and bring out a bunch of new players. They're gonna sit Perry, Sutton will sit as well. He's done for the night. So is Malik Williams. 67-43, 52 seconds are left. 
As this crowd counting down to another Louisville win. Pass to the left wing. Here's Josh Nickelberry in the game here for Louisville. They get it back outside the arc. 36 seconds left. Down the right wing, it's Samuel Williamson. Far corner in through the legs of the Cardinals for the long three. It's good. Samuel Williamson. He has a crowd more to cheer about. And those are his first three points of the night. Redux. The shot clock is about two tenths of a second in front of the game clock. 19 seconds left. Dana Grant top the key. Back to Merrill will shoot off a three from there. He makes it. 70 46. Cardinals lead it. Shot clock is off. 13 to go. With the ball, Darius Perry in his own end for the Cardinals. We'll take it across the timeline here and just wait. Dish off for Josh Nickelberry. We'll dribble it out. Two seconds in one, and that does it. Your final score, Louisville 70. Miami Louisville 70, 46. Miami 46. Your final score from the KFC Yum Center tonight. Miami Redhawks hung with the Cardinals for the first 30 minutes or so of this game, keeping it within an eight point margin for the majority of that time. But Louisville breaking free. They had a 26 6 run. Over the last eight minutes and 43 seconds of this game to pull away with a win. 70-46, they take it over Miami tonight in Louisville. Cardinals approve to 11-1 overall. Red Hawks fall to 5-6 overall. And we'll take a look at your final stats tonight as the fans file out of the KFC up center. Louisville shooting 40% for the field. They were 25 for 63. Red Hawks 27%. They were 18 for 66. Rocks for three-point land just didn't get the job done tonight. They were six for 33, just 18%. And for a team that relies so much on three-point ball to produce some offense, Miami had it going for a short stint in that second half, but production tonight for three-point land, just not enough for Miami to get a good offensive job done. This evening, Louisville for three-point land, nine for 27 for 33%. That was a big part of their offensive success tonight. Rocks four for six from the free throw line. Louisville 11 for 17. That's 65% for Louisville, 67% for Miami. 10 turnovers for the Cardinals, nine for the Red Hawks. Rocks had 11 points off turnovers. Louisville at five. Louisville out rebounding Miami 54 to 40, including 40 defensive rebounds for Louisville, 30 for the Red Hawks, 14 offensive rebounds. Louisville 10 for Miami, 13 on second chance points for the Cardinals to Miami's eight. Red Hawks led the bench points 24 19. Louisville 26 points to the paint to Miami's 16. Seven fast break points for Louisville for the Red Hawks. Two, five blocks for Louisville. Miami had one. Three steals for Miami, two for Louisville. The assist knotted up at 11. And Louisville holding the lead for 36 minutes. 10 seconds of this basketball game. They ended up outscoring Miami 42-26 in the second half. There was a time when Miami was outscoring Louisville in the second half, 20-16. to But Cardinals responding with that 26-6 run over the last nine minutes to win the game tonight by a score of 70 to 46. So that'll do it for us here tonight for the Camp Z up center in Louisville. Red Hawks falling to the Cardinals. Again, they are five and six overall in the year. The Cardinals are proving to 11 and one. And they play a much tougher opponent on Saturday. They'll go to Rupp Arena in Lexington to play the Kentucky Wildcats who are six in the nation. And this week's AP pool, a 345 start on Saturday for the Cardinals. Red Hawks back home for a Saturday game. They'll take on Bradley at 2 p.m. December 21st at Millette Hall. That game will not be on Red Hawk Radio and neither will the December 30th game against Wilberforce. We'll get things back for you on Red Hawk Radio basketball wise in the month of January when the Red Hawks return home for the Mad American Conference games. So with that, that'll do it for us here tonight for the KFC Up Center in Louisville. Cardinals 70, Red Hawks 46, your final score for my dad Andy Geshin, who did a great job for driving down today for us and for me, Patrick Geshin here in Louisville tonight. Thanks so long and good night from the KFC Up Center. 70-46, your final score.